Hey everyone, it's the Injury Bloke here, bringing you simple and effective advice for all your injuries, your niggles, your nags, your aches and your pains. Very lucky today, I'm joined by my daughter Jasmine, who's going to model her leg for us. Because today we're talking about uh, Osgood Schlatter's disease, which you may have heard of. You may have heard of it as Schlatter's, you may well have had it yourself in your youth. So I'm going to talk a little bit about it, a little bit about uh, the symptoms and things that you can be doing to help your child to, uh, to get through it. Hope you enjoy. So you may have heard of Schlatter's or Oscar Schlatter's disease, and it sounds a bit scary. It's not a disease. I don't know where that name came from. Uh, what it is really, it's an overuse injury. So if your child's doing a lot of sport, if you've got a lot of running activities that are going on on a, on a regular basis, then it's quite easy for, for your kid to get it. It tends to happen in the ages between uh, eight to 16, sometimes a little bit later as well. Depends how, how long uh, they are growing for. Your, your child is most at risk during a growth spurt. Uh, the bone will have grown. The muscles are trying to catch up. And where they're fastening to the bone, because those muscles are already being put on a stretch, the tugging on the bone becomes a little bit more severe. And that, therefore, this is when um, this problem can, can kick off. So the symptoms, very, very simple. Pain under the knee. Can I borrow your leg? Dog. <laughs> <laughs> Let your leg relax for me. So the, the, um, the problem point, if you like, is right at the top of the shin bone here. Sticky out bit of bone called the tibial tuberosity. This is where the quads fasten to, so your quad muscles come all the way down here from the kneecap, from the patella tendon and the fasten here. And this is the point that is tugging. So as the leg straightens, this is where the tugging takes place. So as we're running around, this tugging is more fierce. So there'll be pain here. There might be pain just standing there. The, the, more than likely to be pain going up and down the stairs and trying to run. So one of the early things to do is, of course, is to stop running around on it. Now, if you went to the doctors and they gave you the diagnosis of Oshford Schlatter's, um, they may well put it down to growing pains and just advise that you rest. And that would be pretty much all the help you can get. And you may even be led to believe that there's, there's actually no treatment that will help it, uh, which is unfortunate because uh, physical therapy can, can actually help, at least help calm the symptoms and, and to help your child get over the pain quicker. What you can do yourself straight away is, is to apply an ice pack to this area for 10 minute spells, 10 minutes on, 10 minutes off. I'm sure you've seen that in some of the videos now and that will help to reduce the swelling, to reduce the pain. Physical therapy wise, I'd be looking to treat the tendon, to treat the muscles, maybe some gentle stretching, and very often those things will also help to ease the pain. What you may see is you may see swelling along here, and then as with repeated episodes of this, uh, as, a, as we become adults, we can actually be left with more bone just here it stops becoming a problem when we're in adults but we do have more bone um, left just under the knee where i've seen problems with this can be that the parents can be quite pushy and getting the, the child to do more sports too regular so i've had i've had uh, kids in that have been doing football three times a week tennis three times a week and having lots of pain around the knee 
and the parents are uh, uh, quite unsympathetic. Possibly even didn't believe the child was in pain and thought it was just making an excuse to not go. So it's something you need to be aware of, pushy parents. So in summary, Oshkid Slatter's disease, don't let that frighten you. It's not a disease, it is simply an overuse injury from doing too much running and jumping and all that kind of activity. It is treatable. It will need some rest, especially because the, the child is more susceptible to it during that growth, uh, during the growth spurt. So that's something to be aware of. If you notice that they've suddenly shot up, you might want to back off on their on the amount of activity that they're doing during the next week or two just to make sure that everything has a chance to settle down. Other than that, I hope you found this video useful. You should have seen the uh, <laughs> should have seen the outtakes of them just laughing most of the time. Um, please do subscribe if you if you want to get updates on my latest uh, video. Drop me a comment if you want me to. Uh, do a video on something in in particular, and I'll get round to addressing that. Leave us a thumbs down, thumbs down. <laughs> Leave us a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever. Also, comment to let let me know why you've given me a thumbs down. And uh, yeah, to choose. <laughs> <laughs> Again, thanks for watching. Take care. Mike's on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. God, I feel weird with you in here. Why? It just, just feels weird. I'm talking to myself in the camera. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey guys, it's the injury bloke here. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> You're not helping. <laughs> oh, Shall I try again? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> hey, everyone. It's the injury bloke here, having a fit of the giggles. Uh, bringing you... Uh, I forgot what I'm bringing you. What am I bringing you? Oh yes. <laughs> I'm starting it. Back at this. This is never going to get done in the room, is it? Hey everyone, it's the injury block here, bringing you simple and effective solutions to all your injuries, your niggles, your nags, your knocks, and all anything injury related. Are you laughing? No. no okay. Very lucky today. I'm joined by my wonderful model. <laughs> this is Jasmine. This is my little girl. 